Yeah. Yeah. So, as you said in your remarks, um, the library board is saying uh, that you guys are, have stepped away from the table and are not willing to talk. So, what do you, what's your response to that? Uh, we have uh, obviously we have uh, taken this uh, um, job action, and uh, we are ready to uh, return to the uh, the table. We certainly extended the uh, deadline several several times with the hope and desire that we would get a resolution. And uh, we're certainly prepared to go uh, back to the table as long as meaningful discussions are uh, taking place. And uh, we will, uh, as we've been saying all along, our intent is to get a negotiated uh, agreement here. We'd uh, like to get back to those tables and uh, get uh, back to the libraries to deliver the service and do the things that we do best. What did they find the contact officers last year? The main sticking point is around the point and current security, as I said. And it's just the last piece that just arrived. Uh, for the Ford administration to extract more and more money from Toronto Public Library. Uh, we were able to uh, prevent and push off a lot of uh, uh, damage to the library service as well uh, through the budget process. And now this is uh, what they want to do is open up our contract so that they can uh, lay off workers. And as I said, this mayor is looking to lay off uh, 7,000 uh, workers. He's only got uh, 1,000 uh, there, so he has uh, many, many more things to do. Otherwise, uh, there's no point in opening up this provision in the uh, collective agreement. Morning, what is the seniority? Well, as we have been saying all along, we are a different uh, bargaining unit. We are a different workplace. Our needs are uh, very, very different. And uh, part-time workers, uh, as it was pointed out, can work for years before they get that uh, employment security. And uh, it is rather ironic that back in 2002, when the uh, 416 outside workers went out on strike over job security, that the Toronto Public Library at that time was able to come to a supplement with the library workers around that issue. And now they're not looking to do that. And uh, you know, there's only 2,300 library workers. We just lost another 107, so there's only going to be 2,200 of us. It's been the union's belief for quite some time time that we don't even have enough staff anymore to staff the Toronto Public Library and you know again in the context of Toronto Public Library being the busiest public library system in the world we need to have staff in place to deliver that service to Torontonians. It's quite clear Torontonians love their public library they deserve to uh, have that service to them and we need the workers in place to continue to deliver that service and that's all uh, we're looking for to, uh, 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 they're looking to lay off more than half of our workers. There's 2,300 library workers, so you can do the math. They're but, looking but, to lay but, off. But did they than say half. that a certain amount of years would be protected? Whether it's 10, 15, 7, is there a number? They're looking to open up our contract at this point in time to let more than half the library workers go. And again, you have to ask yourself why do they want to do this? And the only reason they want to do this is to get rid of library workers and close libraries. Otherwise, there's no point in, uh, in undertaking this battle. It's been a theme of the Ford yes. administration from day one, and uh, it continues. Maureen, what you say? Uh, the Councilor Ainsley and others say that they have no intention of closing any libraries. So what makes you think? Well, they uh, were saying that as well uh, at the uh, beginning of the budget process. It was pretty clear that uh, they wanted to close libraries, and uh, there is no point in um, asking for this kind of uh, session out of our collective agreement. That's not what they want to do. They may be saying that this is uh, not what they want to do, and that may be true for 2012. But the mayor and the city manager have both made statements that uh, library branch closures are back on the table again in 2013, and they're just trying to put the pieces in place and they can start doing that. Otherwise, there's not point. There's no point uh, to them uh, not agreeing to better uh, job security. Uh, in our collective agreement. There is an ulterior motive here, and Torontonians shouldn't be fooled as to what it means, because there's an end game to everything that they're doing, and that end game is getting rid of library workers and cutting services.
just like that was the end game in the 2012 budget process. Maureen, at present, do all permanent full and part-time workers um, have job security protection when it comes to contracting out any technology? Uh, we have, uh, we did have uh, those provisions in uh, place. That is what is under uh, attack. Uh, we had uh, uh, employment security in place, and they, uh, again, they want to roll it back to uh, an incredible uh, uh, level, which is uh, not sustainable in order to deliver uh, service to uh, the city of Toronto. So the, the 1,300 figure that you're using, you're saying that 1,300 employees would fall below the new threshold that they're proposing? That is correct, yes. So then, why would you just tell us what the threshold you're proposing is? Because I'm not going to do any negotiating in the, uh, the public, but uh, obviously that issue is of a major concern to us and we need to get that information out. Uh, figures and numbers and statistics and all the rest change uh, by the second and the minute, but uh, for the library workers you have to understand the implications, and the implications are that right now they're asking that more than half of our bargaining unit not have any kind of employment security, which again is going to result in library closures. You can't have 2,300 people manning 98 branches, cut half of them, and not expect any disruption in service delivery. Libraries will be shuttered. That is what it's all about. Okay, thanks.